In this video, we are going to understand how to use bold, italics, underline, marquee, and strike tags in HTML. So we will be talking about uh, all the tags by using uh, different uh, documents in HTML like this. And you can see how the output is visible in all of them. Let us understand them one by one. So let's begin with this first example. The code for this is this and uh, inside the body tag we have given some content and for the heading we are using the bold tag followed by the paragraph so that it should look separate with the rest of the content as a heading. So here you can see that this looks dark in color as compared to the rest of the content and further the spacing between this and the first line is more as compared to the spacing between them. Reason being uh, this spacing is provided with the use of paragraph tag and this kind of spacing is provided with the help of break tags. Similarly, if we talk about this particular example here, what you can see is along with the bold tag, we are using italics and for the main heading, we are using two tags here, the bold and italics, and the rest of the content is sim same. So if you look at the output here, you can see that this looks bold and a little bit tilted on the right hand side. That means it is italics also. Likewise, moving ahead with the next example, the code for which is the same, more or less here, we are using one underlying tag also. And uh, for the code inside the body tag, you can see for the heading, we are saying that the heading is going to be this and it is supposed to be bold. It is supposed to be italics. It is supposed to be underlined. So we are applying three tags on one heading and in the output, you can see that this is bold. It looks dark in color as compared to the rest of the content and it is a little bit tilted on the right hand side. That means it is getting italics and you can see that this is getting underlined also. Likewise, inside the same code, we are using italics for the rest of the content and now there are multiple ways how do we use it. We can either use italics tag like starting up here and closing up here individually for all the lines that we have added or we can add all the lines together inside one tag like we started it here and we wrote all the content and then we close the italics here. So the, in both the ways, this will be applicable to the content and you can see that the rest of the content is also tilted on the right hand side as it is getting italics. Similarly, now let's talk about the marquee tag. So the text is moving from the right hand side to the left hand side that is done with the help of marquee tag. And basically whatever content we have added inside the body tag, I wanted the entire content to be moving on the uh, web page. So I have added the marquee tag and once I have put entire content in the document, I have closed the marquee tag like this. So you can apply it on individual lines also or any way as, you are, as per your convenience. So because I have applied it on the entire content, so everything is moving on the game stage, moving on the web page uh, from right to left, which is the default direction here. Now in this particular case, the rest of the content apart from the heading uh, is getting uh, striped. So which is uh, been done through strike tag and here you can see how we have used it. Uh, this is the content that is supposed to be visible on the web page and we have put entire content inside the strike tag. We have started it here and we are supposed to close it here. Like this you can see followed by the backslash. And on the output, we can see that the entire content is moving from the right hand side to the left hand side. And uh, apart from the heading, everything is showing out to be as a strike through. Further, you would have seen the examples of where we use the strike tag as in some offers like discounts and the special deals for any products.